everyone how are you today I hope you're all doing well I hope you're all having a great week and you're staying healthy and reading lots of books and writing even more books how are you all first thing I want to say is please go down into the comment section and tell me your Hogwarts houses I'm very curious are you like a hybrid like me I'm like kind of consider myself a little bit of a Slitherclaw, Raven Slither, Raven, and ben. I'll consider myself a Ravenclaw. I got Ravenclaw two times and then I got Slytherin once. So I'll just say I'm a Ravenclaw. I'm going to stick with that. I identify with that. But what are you guys? Please tell me in the comments down below. And then come back to this video and we will continue. So inside of the title of this video, you probably already know what's going to happen, but we are going to unbox the Fakery subscription box, box of the month for March. Got it. It's kind of a mouthful, but I got it. So I am so excited to open this box this month because I actually have a very personal connection to this box. My novel, Iridescent Fury, is inside of this box, and I am so excited to see it. I'm not gonna lie, like, I have opened this just to make sure I can, like, familiarize myself with all the contents inside before I film this lovely video, but I really didn't go into too much. I didn't dig too much because I still want to show you guys everything and we could still kind of, like, react together. I'm just gonna get into it. So so the first thing that is inside of the box is actually the spoiler card. So these come with every single box and it is just usually placed right on top and it tells you on the back everything that is in the box and where they're created from and even some kind of little book descriptions. They tell you like what the t-shirts are, like what the next month is and some special boxes that they have coming up. So it is really useful and really cool. Okay, so first thing that I see on top of the box is actually a enamel pin. So this is what they call the fire bird pin and it is by blissfully bookish co that is such a cute name but this is actually so freaking cute here i'm going to take it out of the plastic just so you guys can get like somewhat of a closer look and it's like very shiny and i hope i'm not like pushing this out of focus but it's very shiny and super cute it's actually like a double press in pin which are my favorite i really don't like the clasp pins because i feel like they like scratch me when i put them on so i really prefer these pins and i usually put my pins on my backpack where do you guys put your pins do you put them on like lampshades i know danielle white legions as you guys probably know her she does a lot of cute enamel pins one on like an actual board like a cork board that she has but then also she'll put them on the lampshade also I'm sorry if I keep looking over here and I'm just very distracted all of the landscapers are here at the house mowing the lawn and like prepping all the bushes and stuff and get ready for spring and all the flowers and stuff to come in so I also don't want them to take their shirts off because then I'm gonna be very distracted Okay, next inside of the box is Dernam Necklace. It says, guard your pendant as fierce as sable in the maiden ship. You never know when you will need its protections. This is actually themed from the book. It is a single-sided necklace with just a smooth kind of face on the back. It has a gold chain and it has a fun little detail which actually seems to be a bird that is over the cycles of the moon with some like fun little like almost Aztec designs. It is gorgeous. It will go with all of your nightly and daily outfits. Like, I might wear this with like a cute like white top or something. Maybe beige pants, black boots. That would be kind of cute, not gonna lie. Might have to do that after this video if quarantine ends and I can actually go outside. I miss the outdoors. Next is actually a crown of feathers iron on patch. So right on top of it, it says there is no bravery without fear, which is an amazing quote from the book. I don't know if any of you have read it, but it is one of my favorite books. I love the sequel, Heart of Flames, even more. So if you haven't read it yet, please get to it like right now because it is fantastic. I just, I want to talk about it with everyone and anyone, but not enough people have read it yet. So please, Crown of Feathers by Nikki Palprito, please hop on it. But this patch is really cute. It has little feathers and it's all like purple, orange, and a little bit of red and blue. I love it. It is aesthetically pleasing and I'm definitely going to have to put it probably on a jean jacket. I'm interested. Next inside of the box is actually a collectible item that Fake Rate does every month, and usually every month is a varying item. So this month is actually a fun little Polaroid from Clockwork Angel, and right on the bottom it says in fun little neat handwriting, I'll get you more books. The art is actually by Mars Sketch. She's on Instagram. So Will and Tessa are favorites of ours, so we had to include them for our second anniversary. So this is actually this is the second year that Fake Rate has been Around and they have been a subscription company so this box is really exciting for them it's really exciting for me it's exciting for everyone and I am waving things around and I might poke my eye out 
Next inside of the box is, was actually the book and the fun little stuff that comes with the book, but I don't want to get to those just yet. I want to show those last to you guys. Next is actually a cute little Skyward tote bag that we can put all of our patches on. It says, Claim the Stars and Property of Spence and Nightshade Spin. And then tremble and fear all enemies. I love it. It is so cute. If any of you actually got this box, are you going to put all your patches on this? Why am I wearing this like a shirt? I'm ready for lunch. Now, sadly, we're getting into some of the final items inside of the box. This next one is actually so freaking cute. I'm like staring at it. You probably see me like playing with it right now, but it is adorable. Okay, so this is actually a big throw blanket. They call it a lap blanket, and it is actually from Spin the Dawn. I don't know if any of you have read that book, but it is fantastic. But on it, it says, Seize the wind, do not become the kite that never flies. And it is so cute. It actually has, like, the scissors, the magical scissors from the book. It's like, I can't... I hope you all can see it. It's really cute, I promise. It is really soft. Then last but not least is actually the signed book plate and book that is in the box. This is a Fay Crate exclusive hardcover of The Maiden Ship by Micheline Rickman. It is beautiful. She's a fellow bookstagrammer and artist. She runs the account Whimsical Illustration. She made these beautiful little tape and book stamps, which I am so excited to put in here. But this cover is by Gabriella Bedosa, which she also did my cover. So we are like little cover sisses, cover siblings. I love it. She's so nice, so kind, and she's really talented. The beautiful part about this book is how exclusive it is. So I really hope that a lot of you guys ordered this March Fake Crate box. But right on here, as you can see, there's obviously the beautiful cover art, the spine, the back cover. But as you can tell, there is foil, like a coppery foil pages. Next is a reversible dust jacket with artwork done by the author. Look at how talented she is. I am not this talented. I am in love. It features our two little characters that are actually right on the front cover. So you could probably flip this around and have these two on the front cover instead of this one. Or you could do both or whatever your heart desires. But it is so cute and I'm in love. Okay, so I'm sorry if the camera angle kind of switched a little bit. It ended up just stopping automatically on me. I think that's actually a setting that I need to fix. It literally just said, camera stopped filming automatically for no reason. So I'm it didn't say battery died. It didn't say full SD card. So I'm just assuming it's probably a little time limit thing that it set for itself, which I need to change that setting obviously but all you guys really missed was my quick little breakdown of the book by Micheline Rickman it is the maiden ship it is beautiful it is gorgeous it is awesome it follows the perspective of Dane Alloway who at nine years old he ends up boarding the ship the maiden with his father and he spends most of his life just kind of floating by until one night he wakes up with a mysterious woman inside of his cabin it is so awesome it sounds so adventurous i know she plans for it to be a duology but i'm kind of hoping that it becomes more i can't wait to dive into it but please let me know if you guys ended up getting a fake rate box please let me know if you guys are going to subscribe to fake rate because they're an amazing company they are awesome people i love them all to death and they are so sweet all they want to do is just produce amazing content and creatable and fun interactive things for you guys so i highly recommend them i'll actually leave a link to their website down below but i love you all please have a great day have a great week. Stay healthy, keep reading books, write even better books, and I can't wait to see you again.